Hello from the Neon Basement. I'm down here with some new gadgets or neon toys and it's those spelling or scripting transformers. That means they will start illuminating the tube from one end and then the light <clears throat> will expand its way all the way through the tube and it will not be a sharp edge of light but more like a gradient of brightness expanding through the tube. They are a 12 volt supply models and 3 kV output 15 milliamp RMS and there's two potentiometers here to adjust um, the speed and the final brightness. These are just plastic screws holding transistors inside and they might even be from 1998. I got them as new old stock but they are still available and they came with a info sheet um, and on here it says 5 milliamp RMS equals brightness of 20 milliamp core and coil. I think that's a typo because that's a very brave claim. I think they wanted to write 15 uh, equals 20 core and coil. And then we have some maximum tubing length here. And what else? Which pinchometer? I've seen a handful of signs with this effect before, like in New York City many years ago I saw uh, in a bar window I saw a glass of beer that was filling up so there was a, a yellow tube twisted like this and the light was moving from bottom up and then the, the last few loops were white so that looked pretty nice. Yeah. Maybe I even built one of them Okay, let's not waste more time. I'm just going to hook one up here. And I'll try if I can get that brightness nice and visible for you. So you see what's happening and I knew that before. It's not really working perfectly with just a sharp edge of brightness moving along the tube. So it's more like a very long gradient and then when it's fully illuminated the brightness goes up a bit more. So I'm gonna play a bit with those potentiometers. Um, this is scripting cycle. So this should be like the speed. Yeah. Turning towards slower. But it kind of still illuminates almost all at once. I'm going to the slow maximum now. This is the slow maximum. Okay, and now with the brightness. The brightness was at maximum now. Let's turn it down to a quarter maybe. That's a bit better. So it requires quite some playing to get a, an effect that looks nice. This is a 10 millimeter tube, by the way, probably four feet long. Okay, I'll just try the second transformer to see if it behaves exactly the same.
and it does behave just the same I think and I added some ground here to the power supply because the EMI was messing with the voltmeter so we'll see that roughly an amp equals about 12, 12 or 13 watts being pulled by that Okay, let's try another tube. I got this open side wired up. That could look nice if it works. Oh, that's cool. That's spelling pretty nice. And there's a lot of beating effect on the clear red also. Let me turn down the brightness for you. Yeah, that's cool. I think I'll put one of these into this box. This is the full brightness setting. And you see that there's some light coming in from this end. Probably from the RFI from this tube. And it does that big step of the brightness towards the end of the cycle. So we're ramping up and then it does a big step of brightness change at the end. So as I said, it's a process of playing with the adjustments until you find an effect that suits you most and you can't really expect perfect or digital results. It's just an RF thing again that has kind of a life on its own. This piece turns on a bit early probably because it's catching the RF from, from this wire. So you see that the M starts off nicely. And then at some point this jumps in, although it's a bit too early. Let's see if we can fix that by distance. No, not really. Probably just coupling from, from this tube into that. Let me try with a piece of mica to insulate that air gap. No, that didn't really change anything. It's flickering though. And if I turn the brightness to full, we get that effect again that we've seen before that will spell at a lower brightness and then when all is illuminated it will do that jump to the higher brightness at the end of the cycle. So you see these are fun to play with. They're not really perfect, but I'm sure I will find applications to use them. So thanks for watching this short clip, please come back for more neon stuff, see you soon.